people are choosing a real estate agent is based on a friend they have in the business okay they're picking their friends right now the, the market is really swaying that direction right now and you know video is a great way to warm your audience up to you You know, and by the way, guys, a market crash would be a market crash would be great for agents because wouldn't it be amazing if if inventory comes up, if demand comes down a little, if prices even flatten out or come down just a tad? Wouldn't that make things so much easier? You know, and everybody's kind of scared of this happening when it would really be a more favorable situation for us real estate agents. So um, there's always a silver lining. Utilize social media because that's more of a global business. That's more of a nationwide business. With with real estate, you know. I built it on the back of talking to as many property owners in my market as I possibly can just to make friends because the number one reason right now that, that people are choosing a real estate agent is based on a friend they have in the business, okay? They're picking their friends right now. The, the market is really swaying that direction right now. And, you know, video is a great way to to uh, to warm your audience up to you, right? To begin those friendships and, this, and to start wow, those. Oh, I love that. I'm sorry to stop you there, but mm -hmm. that is so brilliant because mm -hmm. it they don't know you if they don't know you and so yeah. if they start feeling like they know you like I know some youtubers so I feel like I really know them because of their YouTube channels yeah so yeah I like that that kind of analogy there. So I had to stop and make sure everybody heard that. No, absolutely. Yeah, it's, uh, it is, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, can we just pick up the phone and call people and create friendships? Absolutely. But can you also utilize video to, to help uh, build your brand, right? And to create these uh, warmer situations? Absolutely. 100%. And with what you have to think about too, with, with, with video and social media. Okay. This is very important for real estate agents. Your market, even if you're in one of these larger markets like a New York, like a like a LA, like a Miami, even if you're in one of these larger markets, okay, your audience within this geographical niche is still is so small compared to the overall internet. Okay. It's just so small compared to uh, how many people are on digital uh, and on social media and YouTube and Facebook. It's such a small audience compared to the rest of the world. So you have to you have to think about all this stuff and look at it from a bird's eye view, you know, uh, the bigger picture of this, you know, it's not about how many likes you get as a real estate agent. It's just about the fact that we are building influence in the industry, in our perspective markets. And I'll tell you something else that I've learned too, with social media and video and everything else, you know, some people, you know, they, let's just say that you're running Instagram videos and, you know, let's say you're getting 500 views of video and a couple months goes by and you're still getting 500 views of video. And then a couple more months, goes by, you're still getting 500 views. Two years go by, you're still getting 500 views. And you think, I'm not growing. I'm not growing. Same thing on YouTube, you know, so you get, you know, 500 views and you just continue to get 500 views. What you have to realize is that that's not the same 500 people watching your videos over and over again. There's a new group. There's people may watch one of your videos or maybe even two of your videos, but then it's a, a it's every, it's a different 500 every so often, you know, that are watching your videos and you're accumulating this audience of people people who know who you are, even though you don't, you're just getting 500, 500, 500, 500, you're actually growing a bigger and bigger and bigger audience over time, even though you're getting the same amount of views per video for years. And, and you've got that two, three, four minute video. Okay. And then do a video on a listing and, and run both of those as a, as an ad for a long time, run it as an ad for, you know, three, four months or longer and make sure every single person in your market sees that video, right. And gets a glimpse of you, sees your name, knows your real estate, hears your voice, becomes more comfortable with you through hearing your voice and your demeanor, your body language, right? And then they see you another video, another ad a couple days later of you showing a house or going through a new listing. You know, now they're seeing, they're see, they saw your bio, now they see you in action. More importantly, trying to get to a transaction, what has to happen and why are we doing these activities? We're doing these activities so that we can hopefully enter into a real live voice-to-voice -voice conversation with a possible prospect. That's the end goal of all this stuff.